welcome to ashok it this is karthik let me walk you through the course content or course overview of design patterns so first of all we are going to look at what is a design pattern design patterns are some of the predefined solutions or reusable solutions to a common problem that can be arising in any of the software development so these design patterns are not belongs to any specific programming language and this can be applied to any of the programming language like you can develop a design pattern using a java python c++ etc what are the advantages of design patterns the advantage of design patterns are nothing but it will provide you the reusability of a code and then easily communicate with different types or different processes and by following the design patterns your maintainability of an application becomes easy and easily you can extend the functionality without touching the existing functionality generally what happens in the real time applications whenever you modify some code you have to do a lot of testing for the existing functionality but if you are following or if you are implementing the code using the design pattern then the maintainability of the application becomes easy that means you don't need to do the entire testing of your application but still you are able to extend the functionality without touching the impacting or without impacting the existing functionality so that is nothing but an advantage of the design pattern now let's look at what are the types of design patterns so the design patterns are segregated into a three types creational structural and behavior the creational design patterns are mostly on the object creation so what are the different ways to create an object and then maintain their life cycle so based on that the creational structure uh, design patterns are categorized into some other design patterns structural so this uh, structural design patterns mainly focus on relationship between the objects making the system easier to understand and modify and behavior so these behavioral patterns is uh, mainly communicating and collaboration between the objects so based on the category of they are providing the flexibility the design patterns are categorized into three parts creational structural behavior now let's look at what comes under the creational design patterns and the creational we are going to see factory abstract singleton prototype builder in all these design patterns you can see how to create an object what are the different ways to create an object and how these design patterns are going to work since these are working with an creation of an object hence these are called as creational design patterns next look at structural design pattern so the structural design patterns are categorized into adapter bridge composite decorator facade flyweight proxy next behavioral design pattern chain of responsibility command design pattern interpreter mediator memento observer state strategy template and vista so these are the types of total 22 design patterns are available these are the different categories and then types of design patterns now next what can you expect in this course so in this course we are going to implement each and every design pattern from scratch using real time examples we can also see live coding we can write the code from scratch in this entire session some and we are also going to look at some of the industry or real time examples where the design patterns can be used and if uh, if you are not using a design pattern what is the impact and if you are using a design pattern what is the advantage and we are also going to look at how to answer the interview questions related to a design pattern and i am going to share the complete notes and the code that we are writing in the class and apart from the creational structure and behavioral design pattern i will also provide you the overview of what is solid design principles solid means s stands for single o stands for open closed l stands for liskov i stands for integration interface segregation d stands for dependency injection so we are going to look at at overview high level overview of what is solid design principles and apart from that i am also going to cover some of the most frequently used microservice design patterns so by the end of this course you will be able to answer the design pattern questions in the interview with an practical example so thanks for watching the video if you have any questions please reach out to www.ashokati.com or you can also call us on double nine eight five three nine double six double seven thank you all thanks for joining